Hey everybody, uh, guess this old tin building is killing the signal. We're going to try it. So we got some chickens that was what we started talking about this morning. We're going to keep it positive. We've had a good day. Start off for up, but uh, got to keep it happy. Look at there. Little chicken. <laughs> then we got about 25 of them in here. Yeah, about 25. A few coals from some of the chicken harvest here in town, but they're not necessarily going to be good layers, but uh, they'll be good on Sunday, Sunday fried up. You going to bring him with us? Yeah. Is he going on a field trip? We ain't going to let him near that road, I can tell you that. So uh, just clean that up and, and relish the good times. I think we've all lost a pet or two, or if you've been any length of time, several. They're never easy from whatever happens, but... Uh, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm thinking uh, I've lost a few to sickness, but having them jumping and running and next minute find a fur ball that you loved on the side of the road, man, that's, that's tough. That is too tough. But um, we got through it, and I guess Malta needed her sister and called old Abby, Abby to come play. We got her buried right next to each other. Jordan and I was actually uh, reminiscing today about it, and my daughter Faith and other son Jeremy and Lance really didn't know Abby. He did a little bit, but uh, um, that was a good times with old Abby Gale. We call her Abby Abby Dale, didn't we? Yeah. But uh, the day before Malta passed, which had been less than a week ago, um, or got killed, Jordan had her out here in the dewberry patch and fed her. A, tried to feed Malta and Abby a dewberry, didn't you? Well, Malta loved it. So we had that story today, and then Abby has become had become addicted to carrots of all things, little baby carrots. And last night Jordan, he showed me he could say carrot, and Abby'd key up and ready for one of them. So she was loving that. So me and Jordan was resting them day near near each other today, and it was hard enough. But uh, I reckon when Malta saw Abby running across there, she said, "You bring the dewberries." And Abby probably told her, "Oh, if you got some carrots," <laughs> but uh, man, there were some happy dogs out here. So we're gonna we're gonna celebrate the good stuff and and not uh, not get down about it. It's it's part of life, and bad as we hate it, um, we're gonna miss her. And I've noticed today, uh, the old gate ain't no sense in even closing it right now. But we'll get another puppy, another dog. It just got to stay vigilant with that old road, but. Uh, What's that? Oh, name. what are you naming this one? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I told you, you're not supposed to name a chicken or a cow you're going to eat. Hey, Felicia, how are you? Good to see you on here. Well, we're going to go down and, and get a few more chickens this evening, I believe. And uh, who knows, at least it's it's something to, something to do in between all the yard work and keeping them fed and all. And, uh, we was able to revive an old pullet operation over there. Well, these aren't your typical laying hens, but that's all right too. Yeah, but had a pretty good day, good day. Um, Mom's not feeling too good today. She's got pneumonia, so if y'all got an extra prayer too, that sure help out. Kind of waylaid our plans on mowing the rest of the chicken yard and getting that garden in, but we'll have a backup plan. We're gonna be uh, on the road tomorrow. Got to run to Lafayette with my cousin and back. And Kimberly's coming in Friday. So y'all gonna want to stick around Friday afternoon. We're gonna me and her out here telling stories. That's gonna be a good time. So she'll be up Friday for Mother's Day and looking forward to that. Man, we've had a appreciation week. I guess we're right smack dab in the middle of it with nurses and teachers and pets. It's a it's national pets something week, I believe. But Mother's Day's coming. I hope y'all remember to make sure she makes you feel special. 82 degrees there, huh, Felicia? That's a heat wave for y'all in Illinois, isn't it? That's just a cool fall day here. Let's go see what the old, this old temperature gauge has been here, I don't know how long. Yep, it's 80 here. So imagine that, we're a little bit cooler here than y'all are. We'll put it, there it is. <laughs> oh, there's old Abby's ball. We, we uh, let her to rest just like we did Malta, put a uh, raptor in a little yellow fleece that they made some tug toys out of and put her favorite ball in there in a magnolia bloom and said her goodbye. Hey, Margaret, how are you? Good to see you. 
old son finally gave us a reprieve hiding behind those shade trees. But, uh, appreciate all your prayers and thoughts, but we're fine, and uh, life has to move on, as bad as it hurts. I'll tell you the, the story. Abby went with me to the chicken pen this morning. So we got those chickens and put them out there. And uh, she was standing there at the gate. Boy, she wanted her some chickens. <laughs> but I had to leave her outside the gate, obviously, and uh, trying to show them to the water and all that. Got distracted for just a few minutes. I don't think it was four or five minutes. And I think there were some kids waiting on the bus across the road. She loved them children. So she took off a running, and we know the rest of what happened. So uh, makes you feel tough. There's nothing you can do. Everybody's got a time. But we have to have to love and, and remember the good stuff, whether it be a, a relative or a pet. But uh, we got can't get down. Got to keep moving. Old place is looking like it needs another mowing. <laughs> I, th I thought maybe if I mowed it once, it'd stay down, but that ain't that ain't the case, huh? 88 in San Antonio. Ooh, a little warm down there. Hey, Kim, how are you? Yeah, we've got we've got peace about it. It was it was bad, but it's. She uh, heard Malta running today. <laughs> it's good stuff. All right, well, uh, I guess that's about it for for today. We didn't get a whole lot done. Got some chicken feed to harvested and, and uh, straightened up a few things in the house. We just keep moving, keep moving. Well, thank y'all for tuning in. I did, uh, I'm working on a YouTube. I've had a lot of people message me that they have uh, parents or loved ones that would love this and don't have Facebook and uh, want to be able to email some of this for whatever reason. I hope I'm inspiring somebody, but <coughs> I'm in the process of uploading all of it to a YouTube channel for those of you that would like to share it in email fashion or other ways. Um, I think I've got it named Washboard Chronicles. should be easy to find. I think I'm up to about day four, but <laughs> I wasn't really in the mood to upload a lot of videos today, if you know what I mean. But, uh, Anyway, you're right, Kimberly. God is good. He is. And uh, he's got him a couple extra pets tonight. <laughs> I, he better have some carrots. Because Abby's going to be looking for them. Hey, Chris. How are you, buddy? All right. I guess that's it for tonight. And we'll uh, resume manana. And I have to show you all these chickens again. We're kind of getting them acclimated out there. I think there's 20... 27 we lost one overnight and one's in the freezer today so uh we're down to 25 <laughs> all right love y'all have a good night we'll talk to you later